we are now leaving Harrah's and when Travis and I like first booked this we were like dude like this is probably gonna be like kind of like a shitty like not shitty but like kind of like a not as nice hotel and we were like super impressed with this place so definitely we're gonna be coming back here um, we're heading to this place called Sprouts it is a like vegetarian vegan place where we can find like breakfast because we're hungry <laughs> we're excited another fun day Another and, fun day. And look who's wearing the same clothes. We both are. Yeah, but it's another day. It's like a day. It's a <laughs> That's worse if you wear the same clothes two days in a row than on this one day, the same day. Yeah. yeah. We're like super stoked about coming here for like winter to snowboard. By the way, if anybody watching this like lives in this area or around here and is not very good at snowboarding and likes to like go on the bunny slopes, let me know in the comments below. We can be new besties and go snowboarding together because Travis like will come with me for a little bit, but then I end up like by myself because he like skis or snowboards like way at the top of the mountain and I'm too scared to go up there. So we kind of sometimes will snowboard together and then um, he'll he'll leave and go back up and then I'm left on my own and I would like to have a friend to go snowboarding so and none of my friends like snowboard or like can ever like afford to go so if you can and you live in this area and you want to go snowboarding with me please let me know in the comments below I'd be happy to make friends to come snowboarding on the bunny on the bunny slopes with me we ate at Sprouts it was so so good and I'm like a pretty picky eater like and they had like amazing vegan I had like this, well I'll show you a picture, I'll put a picture in of what I ate and what Travis ate, it was really good. So we'll definitely be going back there. Um, now we are going to finish like our day out by like exploring um, Lake Tahoe because we are not familiar with this area since we just moved out this way and so as you can see we're just looking around and trying to find like um you know different uh like hotels and cabins that are closer to the mountains so that we don't have to drive to the mountain we can just find a hotel where we can stay and literally like you know ski and ski out or maybe just walk a little ways when we have all our gear on and our snowboards and stuff it kind of sucks to have to like walk really far um to go to the mountain so we're at heavenly and we are just literally exploring finding places that we can eat, that we can shop, that, you know, we can stay at. So it's exciting. It's really fun. We're having a really good time and I'm in a very happy mood right now because I had a very yummy lunch and because I'm with my boogly bear. My boogly bear. I love you, bear. I love you. So look at all these cute little houses in here. Like, to buy a house in here. Zigzag it up this way. Yeah. So we're trying to find a place closest to the mountain that we can stay that's like a decent price and not too expensive. Oh, this place for sale right here? Oh my gosh, that's like a cool place. Look at these places. These are really cool. This place is humongous. I don't want like a, such a big place. I would like a little place like that. That would Look be like this place. Nice you wouldn't want that? Are you kidding me? Dude, if we had like eight children maybe. Can you imagine how like how much it would cost to have somebody clean that place all the time? We could throw ragers, bro. Yeah, because we're such party animals. Like, we are ragers. just the craziest partiers out there. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna. Be, if you guys can see that, like that is during this winter. It's that's gonna, gonna be covered be a in snow. snow. Run. Yeah, Woo. and people like ski down that. So it's kind of cool to see it during the summertime. You know. Big-ass parking lots during like this during winter time Travis will be in in his car doing donuts in the ice without me in the car because I'll be too scared oh my gosh look there's like the lifts and stuff mm -hmm. my ears are popping because we're at such high elevation oh my gosh you guys want to hear the funniest story okay when we first went to Mammoth um Holland's like zoomed in way too far when we first went to Mammoth um I had gotten my boobs done like mm, I don't know maybe like a year or two before and I had never gone to like really super high elevation so when we went to Mammoth my boobs like the implants started making noise like no joke they would make noise like farting noises and like 
swishing noises just like really weird noises anytime like I move my arm and I thought that my implant had popped and I was like freaking out so I called my plastic surgeon and I was like oh my god I think my implant popped and he's like no it's fine just because when you go to high elevation like the implant bag expands and so you hear like the fluid inside it's kind of gross I know but like totally freaked me out so now every time I come up to snowboard my my boobs make noise and it's like so funny it's like a joke now and my snowboarding instructor for like the last two years in Mammoth um, would call me noisy boobs and we would like joke about it we thought it was really funny so yeah she knows me as noisy boobs uh, and they started making noise while we were up here but it doesn't happen like the first day it happens like the second day it's weird it like takes time for them to like expand um, I hope that's not like a bad thing or like does anybody else have implants have you guys ever got that let me know because I, I really don't want to feel like I'm the only one I don't think it happens for everybody but I know it happens for some people that have implants another thing is if you do have implants and you snowboard that's like the one way you can pop your implants is snowboarding my plastic surgeon says you need to be very careful because um you can definitely pop implants snowboarding when you fall like on your chest you got to be careful so we're parked right here i'm not really sure what trav is doing but you can see there's one of the lifts honey what are you doing i'm looking up the resort heavenly oh. on my phone right now cool but my phone doesn't have very good service right here. Okay. Well, anyways, just thought I'd share that boob story with you guys. And uh, if we do anything cool, I'll make sure to film some of it. Okay, so I know I showed you guys pictures of our lunch, but I didn't get to eat the whole thing, so I just wanted to show you like how fucking good this is. And this is like something that you guys can make at home. Yeah, the lighting is probably better this way. Um, so it looks like this. And it's basically like an open faced bagel and it has like um like creamy avocado like they just put like avocado or guacamole or whatever and they like made it into like a creamy like i don't know if you can see that it's like kind of creamy and they like layered that on the bagel with um also hummus and then they added like tomato red onion green onions and um the day of vegan cheese which is like really good and then they like toasted it or put it in the oven and it's like so so yummy and then to make it even better they had vegan cookies and i got the double chocolate one and normally i'm kind of skeptical with the vegan cookies because a lot of the times like they don't always taste that great but this one was really good and i ate this before i ate like my meal so i had like dessert first and um it was like a big ass cookie and I ate like most of it so I wasn't as hungry for lunch so that's why I still have like leftovers but um, this cookie was really fucking good and it's like ABC alternative baking company so in case you guys like want to try vegan cookies like you guys should check that one out it's pretty good so yeah I'm eating the rest of my lunch right now because I'm hungry and then we're checking out more places in Lake Tahoe because the boyfriend says he wants to and whatever he says goes honey can we do this I say of course darling whatever you would like you're very well trained. Mm -hmm. He says I'm a well trained girlfriend. <laughs> but then again, he is a well trained boyfriend as well. So that's what we're doing. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So Trav found a trail. He's tricking me into exercise. I have sandals on, so I really hope that. Are you sure I put my sneakers on? We're not going to be doing this for very long. Well, then just put your other shoes on. Well, are we going to be, like, full-on taking a hike up here? No, or? but this is, like, kind of sandy. Do you want your feet getting dirty or not? No. Okay. So if you don't want your toes getting dirty, get Alright. Got my sneakers on. I'm ready. Trav is ready. There's, like, nobody out here. It's, like, kind of quiet. Or it's really quiet. We're going on a hiking trail. We're going on a hiking trail. Dude, <laughs> Travis just climbed up onto this fucking huge ass rock and he's like, take a picture. I'm like, all right, dude, but I'm going to vlog this at the same time because it's pretty cool. All right, are you ready? Pose number one. You look like Jesus. <laughs> Pose number two. Pose number three. You're such a dork, dude. Okay, do do you like muscles or something? Do like muscles? flex. All right, hold on. I think I can't see because the sun is so bright. If I'm actually getting your face, okay. Here, this is better. Do do the first pose again. What was the first one? Yeah, that one. 
All right, come down and check them out and see if you like them. Dude, my boyfriend's crazy. He's like, selfie time. Take my picture on this big ass frog. <laughs> we just took some selfies, it was fun. Yeah, look at me. Actually, hold on. Let me do it again. Look at me. Oops, do it again. I messed up. Hold on. <laughs> I messed up. Oh, I'm getting all itchy. Shit is biting me out here. Do it. Okay, that's enough. Let's finish our hike. I'm getting hot and antsy. <laughs> He's taking pictures of himself. That's so cute. Yeah. Right. This is really cool up here. It is. It's really pretty. Like, look at this, you guys. We're like, and there's no one out here. Just the two of us. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. <laughs> I love you, baby. Where? You guys, we're on like a full on hike now. If I would have known this would have brought my feeding pack instead of my big ass purse that I'm carrying right now. Um, but look how pretty it is. Like, look how gorgeous this is. This is so gorgeous. I've never seen anything like it. It's insane. Travis wants to go up there, but I don't know about all that. All right, baby, where are we going? What are we going to do? Well, tell me. There's a little sign thingy there, but... If you want to start to head back, like, that's fine, because if you want to still go check out the beach. All right, up to you. Yeah. Yeah, you tell me. We can go back and check out the beach. You want to walk up this the way for a second? Which way? Up this thing? Not really. Why are you trying to follow that girl? She said she's gone. What are you talking about? No, she's probably up there. I don't feel like we're following her. That's weird. There's a lot of two ways. This way. If you want to go up there, that's fine. Because look, you can see probably the whole, the whole lake right here. Okay, right fine. Then let's go. Down. Then go. Oh. What do you know? No, I'm telling can... you, let's go. Stop arguing. Then let's go. It's a fucking pain in the ass sometimes. I swear to God. No, I love you, but you drive me crazy. Turn it into like me following some fucking. Trail. Yeah, because you keep following her. There are all these other places to go. It's the same fucking trail. Watch your language. Being a little dickhead. Where's <laughs> why I was talking about coming up this way? Okay, yeah, it's pretty, really fucking pretty up here. Can't breathe, but. So what do you say? Stop stalking girls. It's very pretty up here. Oh shit. It's kind of sketchy, but it's really pretty. I wonder how far the lake wraps around over to the right. Dude, we're up really high. It's really pretty, but I can see why that girl was scared. The same girl that Travis was stalking up here, she was like coming down on our way coming back up, and she's like, it's pretty awesome, but it's really sketchy. And it is pretty sketchy, but look at that pretty view. I'm having anxiety. All right, I'm ready to go back down. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna get down here. I need you to help me. Well, I just said I'm gonna need you to help me. Yeah, so hold on a second. Jesus, Trev. You guys see the baby squirrel? Oh my god, I got him on camera. He blends in, but look how quick they are. They're like so tiny, they're like little midget squirrels. Hi, midget squirrel. Damn, those little fuckers are quick. <laughs> Anyways, I just thought I'd show you guys. It's really pretty. I think we're gonna head back to the car now, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. Me. Yeah, of course. Anything else? You still love me? Yeah, will you come here and kiss me? Random acts of me? love and affection? 
random acts of love and affection. Why don't you come here and give me a kiss? I'm sorry, but you have to realize, like, if a girl's by herself, like, in the middle of this, like, forest, like, the last thing she wants is to think that people are following her, like, that's sketchy, you know? I would be, like, freaked out if, like, I don't care if it was a couple or not, I'd think they'd, like, want to be Considering we were on the trail, I didn't know, I don't know if that trail stops at the top or if it goes up and then it keeps going to the other side, how do I know I know, but there? still, like, I don't know, I would, like, want to wait until, like, so it, m it made it seem like I wasn't following someone, like, we, I would... We were standing at that thing for a while, like... Anyways, I'm sorry for getting upset with you. You're sorry for me getting upset with you. And we're making up, and I love you. I don't like being mad at you for too long. Well, there's no reason to be mad at me. I wanted to show you something pretty, which, did I? Yes, okay. it was very pretty, and I'm glad that, that we went up there. Is that smart that I went up that way? Oh, shit, there's a here. Shut up, stoops. <laughs> All right, everything's dead. We're holding hands. That's a good sign. All right. Who would have thought those people walking on a trail? Shut up. There's nobody out. There's not that many people out here. Like literally, we've like seen, we've seen we two people bicycle. the whole like hour and a half we've been out here. All right, you guys. We're heading back to the car. Thank goodness. Even though it's really pretty, I'm glad we came out here. You guys, check out this awesome fucking stick I found. <laughs> it's like this crazy stick, and I was like, dude, that's so cool. Like, one, it'd be cool for decoration, but two, it'd be even cooler because there's so many, like, different little, like, things coming off of it to, like, if I spray paint it and clean it up a little bit, I can, like, mount it to my wall or, um, like, put it in a vase or something, and I could put all my, like, necklaces and jewelry on it to display it. I thought that was really cool, so maybe I'll do a little DIY for that. And it's free too. That's the best part. Pretty sweet, dude. All right, we're back. We're done with our hike. We're gonna get in the car. We're gonna go check out the the lake, the lakey lake. Yeah, we're gonna go down to the water. What trail is this? Let's uh, Van Sickle Park State Park. Let's remember this so that we, if we ever want to come back like next summer, we can come check this out because that was really cool. All right, let's do this. So we decided to come down to the lake. And look how pretty it is. I think we're going to hang out here for a few minutes, check it out, and then we'll probably head home. But this was a nice trip for his birthday, and we had a lot of fun. We were able to explore and see what it's like in summer since we'll be coming here like all winter time. So it's really cool. It's really cool. You can see all the different like the different colors for the depths, you know? Yeah. Awesome. But if it wasn't all windy and stuff, I bet you so much of this would be really clear. Happy birthday weekend, Trav. Week? During the week? Mid Midweek? Oh yeah, whatever. Happy birthday week, Trav. Thank you. Bye Lake Tahoe.